two Bassmaster Classic Champions are returning to the elites. That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team. I say thank you all the time and I'm going to continue. Thank you. Thank you for the views. Thank you for the memberships. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for everything following on Instagram. You guys are killing it. I have a goal that I'm trying to achieve. And if you're not a follower or not a subscriber, do me a favor and click that button because it's free and I really would appreciate it. Two former Bassmaster Classic champions are returning back to the elites with their legendary exemptions. 2000 Classic winner Cliff Pace and 2014 Classic winner Randy Howell are rejoining the Bassmaster Elite Series for 2025. And right off the bat, I want to know what you think. I'm not a big fan of the exemptions. However, I think in Randy's case and in Cliff's case, these were both two guys that deserve to be back in the elites. Now, we'll start with Randy, who's one of the greatest men out there. Just wholeheartedly amazing. I remember I've had so many dinners with him with the TTI Blakemore dinner at ICAST with him and his sons when they were wee kids. And Randy really is a good-hearted, God-first family man that's just a good person. Randy is currently, or was currently, 46 in Angler of the Year points on the Bass Pro Tour for 2024. He has career earnings of $2.3 million in five wins. And his current world rank is 108th. Now, Randy probably was going to have a hard time requalifying for the Bass Pro Tour when they drop it down to 45. I think moving into or back to the elites is a great opportunity for him to not only fish, continue his his successful career, and do what he does best. And I really like this for Randy because he's just a good person. Cliff was currently participating in the Opens. He was in 42nd place in Angler of the Year points. He wasn't going to requalify because of the Opens. But using his legendary exemption offers him an easier path to get back to the elites. And this one made a lot of sense. Since he was fishing the Opens and left BPT two years ago, a year and a half ago, this was his goal to get back to the, the elites, to fish the Classic, to compete at the highest level. And even though Cliff is only ranked 187th in the world rankings, he has career earnings of $1.76 million, and he's had four wins. And like I said, this one makes a lot of sense because I think Cliff was trying to requalify the right way or the way he thought. But when a legendary exemption comes up, you got to take it, take advantage of it and use it when you can. Randy and Cliff bolster the elite field. They boost it up. They make it even better. These are two guys that still compete fairly well, still are great anglers, and they're classic championships. There's classic champions. So here's my first question. Do you think Randy and Cliff make the classic in 2026 versus a new crop of anglers that are forward-facing sonar dominant? Do these guys make it to the classic? Do they have a consistent check coming in? Is this the right move for both these anglers? Now I should say no anglers were removed to make room for these two guys, for Cliff and, uh, for Cliff and Randy. And that's a good thing, but it also means that there's more, two more anglers on the elite field for next year. And the bigger the field, the harder it is to win. And while you might not know the class of rookies that are going to join for 2025, I can say the anglers in 2025 are as good, if not better, than the class of 2024. And that's saying something, because nine guys from the 2024 made the classic cut. 2025 will be very interesting when you introduce this new group of anglers. You have Randy and Cliff coming back and just all the drama and all the stuff that's going on inside Bassmasters. But what do you think? Was this the right decision? So comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I so appreciate you. Seriously, I so appreciate you. Thank you. Tight lines. Cheers.